hey, it is time to improve that trading strategy I created with ChatGPT some time ago. Today, I want to include proper risk management with stop losses and take profits. I want to also allow the possibility to do short trades, and I want to see if we can adapt it to smaller timeframes. So let's ask good old ChatGPT to do that for us and make him complement the TradingView code so we can run some backtests as we go. Let's first briefly recap the strategy we got to last time. We were using the Ethereum USDT pair on a daily chart. You can see here that I've plotted the indicators important for this strategy. The two yellow lines are the Bollinger Bands. These are computed with a period of 35 days and a standard deviation of one. Then the two other indicators important for this strategy are SMAs. The fast one is the green one, and that's computed with a period of 10 days, while the slow one is the blue one here, and that's computed with a period of 30 days. The rules for this strategy are simple. One enters a long position when the price breaks through the upper Bollinger Band. And we do make sure though that we're always trading with a trend if you want by only entering a position when the fast EMA is above the slow EMA. And then the trade is exited when you have the opposite crossing of the simple moving averages. All this gave us some pretty nice profits. Let's go check that. You can see more than 10,000% profits with a win rate almost of 75%. A maximum drawdown, not too shabby, below 25%. But you can see that this is really a long-term strategy. This backtest that I'm showing here goes back to 2017. So in little less than six years, it did only 23 trades. This is really the archetype of the long-term trending trading strategy. Please remember that I'm not a financial advisor and trading is risky. Any Anyway, the first thing I want to include for proper risk management is a stop loss. I will stick to a common practice and go for a stop loss that is equal to the entry price minus two times the average true range, ATR for friends. So let's ask ChatGPT to do it for us. Okay, great. We can see that he did add the computation of the ATR and he took the 14 periods, the standard value. And then he added here the computation of the stop loss using this two times ATR that I asked for. So let's see if it works. I'm going to copy the code and come here and then paste it. Then control S to save and for it to compile. And it worked perfectly. Let's have a look at how the back test did and nothing changed at all. This is a bit weird, no? Don't you think? Maybe you spotted the mistake. I'll show you. This is actually not what we really want to do. This stop here is more when you want to place a limit order. We actually want the stop loss to be an independent exit order. And for that, we should use the command that is strategy dot exit. So let me write that properly. Okay, so you can see that I've structured the code a bit better. I've singled out the definition of this number of ATR at which I want the stop loss to happen. So NATR equals two. And I've also defined the entry price here. And you can see that I have my strategy entry long here. And then this extra strategy exit here. The stop loss is defined as the entry price minus this NATR times ATR. So what we wanted. But there is a little extra subtlety that I want to point out to you. Is that when we use this loss argument here and also the profit argument that we'll use a bit later, the number that we'll put in this loss or profit needs to be a price in ticks. So for that, I use a little trick. I convert the stop loss in actually a percent loss with respect to the entry price. And then I convert this percent loss back into ticks using this sim info dot min tick. Maybe that sounds a bit technical for you, but don't worry. I will put this code on our GitHub. It's free. So don't hesitate to go fetch it. Details in the description below. You can also join our community Discord and ask your questions there. Okay, so let's save and see what we get. And now we can indeed see that something did happen. We lost a bit of our profits. This is actually not surprising. With trending strategies like this, a stop loss can sometimes work in your disfavor. But let's carry on. Chat GPT, a take profit, please. And let's say we have a risk reward ratio of one to three. Okay, let's see what he's done. So we can see that he has added the computation of the take profit. He did indeed put a three here for this one to three risk reward ratio, which means for every $1 that you risk, you have a potential reward of $3. It's nice to see that he followed our correction and he did this time this percent profits exactly like we did the percent loss earlier. So we still have this loss here. 
but you can see here indeed that he added the profit argument as well. Okay, so let me copy and then paste there and see if we have no mistakes and things compiled properly. Before we check the result, give me a minute. I want to structure the code better. For a bit more clarity, I remove these computations from within the if conditions. And you can also see that I've slightly changed how the computation of the take profit is presented. I made appear this n times ATR divided by the risk reward ratio, where this risk reward ratio I've defined here it just makes a bit more sense to me presented like that. But it's totally equivalent to what ChatGPT gave us. Okay, so let's see what we get. So we're still not any way near than what we had at the beginning. But I think there's a condition we can forget because now with this addition of the take profit and stop loss, we've moved a bit from this really long-term trending strategy to more of a sort of if you want daily trader kind of idea, basically when the price breaks above the upper Bollinger Band, we just want to place the trade as fast as possible and then the take profit and the stop loss will take care of the rest. So let me simply delete this, save, and finally, we do see some increase in our profits and also in the number of trades. But on the other hand, we did lose in terms of win rate and also the maximum drawdown increased a bit. Okay, time to add some short trades now and let's have them as the perfect mirror of the longs. Chat GPT, if you will. Okay, so we can see that he did add the shorts, but he was maybe not too happy with me for removing this part of the computations from within the ifs. So he put them back for the longs and for the shorts. But little tip, this is actually not necessary. Even if now in the case of the short, the stop loss will be above the entry price while the take profits will be below. So the reverse from the long. But actually TradingView does things really nicely. You can actually give the exact same number as the one you computed in the take profit and TradingView computes it properly knowing that it is a short and does this reverse computation for you. You can see that we have now our long and short entry and exit signals defined here where the crossover above the upper Bollinger Band of the long entry became now a cross under the lower Bollinger Band and the exits of the short is the cross under with the order of the simple moving averages swapped. And you can see that I've ordered the code a bit better. So I've put back the computation here. We have our long entry and exit, then the exit long, the same for the short, etc. Okay, so let me stop talking too much and simply save and we'll see the results. And there we go, a huge increase in profits. And also in the number of trades, we are indeed still, however, losing in terms of win rate and maximum drawdown. Now we have a nice template strategy and a clear code. I will put it on our GitHub, so don't hesitate to grab it. It's free. Now, let's try to adapt this strategy to smaller timeframes. I'm a bit scared of what's going to happen, but anyway, let's do it. One hour and we drop to 2% profits. Note, however, that now also the backtesting range has changed. Now we're backtesting over a period of one and a half years. So let's keep that in mind as well. Also, probably because we're now doing long and shorts, etc., we should really be doing futures now. So let me go here and go to Bybit. By the way, if you want to trade futures, Bybit really have some extremely competitive trading fees. If you use our registration link down below, you can get up to a 30,000 USDT deposit reward. Back to our strategy. So let's see what we get. And we lost even more by going to futures. But I'm sure we can do better. Obviously, this was not going to magically adapt to much lower time frames. From experience, I would say we need to make the period of the Bollinger Bands much longer. And generally at this time frame, I tend to use 100. I'll save and we can check what happens. And yes, we went back to something positive at least. I also think we were a bit too greedy with our risk reward ratio for these time frames, So I think we should lower it to two. Let me save and we can see what happens. Nice. Okay, we're starting to see something quite nice. Almost 160% profits over a year and a half. And I also like much better the look of this curve because now it's slowly increasing. And then it seems that the market wasn't that great then. So didn't do much, if not losing a bit of money. The maximum drawdown is a bit less than what we had before, but still a bit more than what we had really at the beginning. The win rate has dropped even more, below 40%. In principle, if your trading strategy gives you an average profit per trade comfortable enough, it's not a big deal if your win rate is below 50%. That really depends on the type of strategy. Here we see that we have a bit more than 300 trades over a year and a half. So that means roughly this strategy does a trade every one or two days on average. And I think for this, I would like to see the win rate a bit higher. In fact, with a win rate slightly higher, I think this strategy would become very profitable. Now, a word of caution, we all know that past performances never guarantee future results. That is why we should also test this strategy for robustness. So for that, let's see what it does with another coin. Let's go, for example, for BTC. 
and you can see that the results changed quite radically. And this is a warning. This probably means that the strategy was a bit too overfitted to the case of ETH. But personally, I think the choice of 100 for the period here and 1 is pretty standard. So I think this should stay. But on the other hand, I think something that one could improve is the exit. Indeed, you must have realized we have our take profit, our stop loss, but we still have an exit condition. These come from what we did with ChatGPT last time. But I think in this context of more of a day trading strategy, we should update that to something different. So if you have any ideas or suggestions, please let me know in the comments down below or in our community Discord. I'm counting on you. I would really like to transform this into a fully automated trading bot, just like the one I did there. But we need the strategy to be a bit more robust. This was Robot Traders for you. Don't forget to give us a little like and consider subscribing to the channel. See you soon and take care.